It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. And it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the city of angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon God and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Off the play fake, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and nine from the 44. To throw is Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And now two yards to go on third down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Prescott on third and two. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete, and he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that and continuing to let him throw the football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. 
Second and ten. Prescott now. Cooks on the quick slant. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. And again, it's Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think Blitz coming and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. And got his man complete. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are on the board first on the road here in L.A. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis, and he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. Well, that's certainly not the start that they envisioned, Charles. You give up the long touchdown drive and there an interception on their first play from scrimmage. Brandon, I wonder if the mindset was simply, well, that was a long touchdown drive. Their defense might be a little relaxed and feel like, hey, we're in good shape now having seven in hand. Maybe they just thought, let's take the shot at them right now. Instead, it went against them. The best starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. Pollard is in. Touchdown, Dallas. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Aubrey now for the PAT. Yeah. 
And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position, and only one play to score it. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? They begin the drive with Williams. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. One of the best routes, one of the favorite routes of any play caller. He just ran now a nice little angle route. That's supposed to be a catch, and usually it is in the running back drop. Yeah, I mean, he's a running back, but he's got hands. He should have caught it. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Stafford. And he's going to be brought down back at his own six-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, partners, the first quarter too early to start talking about needing a comeback. They're down two touchdowns already, and that sack, that disrupts this drive. They need something to go right on offense, and they need it to happen soon. Here comes the Rams punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. Taking on the midfield logo. Oh, able to avoid him. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. No gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and 10, Prescott. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 
That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. <laughs> I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Aubrey good with a PAT, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Off of play action, here's Stafford. And that one too wide and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got to step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Out of the gun, Stafford. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Play action, Stafford. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Ethan Evans now. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Now this is going to work out well as it's out of bounds near the 13-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. 
But Charles, they're really stringing these possessions and scores together early. We're still in the first quarter, but if they can score again here, look out. Yeah, and as you taught me when we're broadcasting games, one word we're supposed to avoid, and that's blowout. But that's exactly what's going on here. Down three possessions just the first quarter. That goes beyond any worst-case scenario we might have thought coming into this game. And another touchdown here, that should eliminate any hopes for any type of a comeback. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third down and one. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Uh, it's a well-designed play here. Three wide receivers in the formation. They're all going to run deep routes to put pressure on the safeties. And then they let their tight end cut his route off a little shorter and work toward the middle of the field. That's a difficult route to try to defend. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. This a second and seven from the 37. Now Prescott. On the left side, Gallup's got it. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. But there's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. From the red zone now, Prescott. Over the middle, hold in by Lamb. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. They'll run with Pollard. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from the one. Pollard one more time. And this time he is in. Yes. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Cowboys had six to their lead. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. 
Aubrey now for the point after. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. A 10 play drive that time, and it ends with a one yard touchdown run. So this not what we expected. 28-0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays. Run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Looking deep downfield. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to have it here just past the 25. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. Now that's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second down, Pollard again. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. That is caught. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That's a first down and then some, a 32-yard pickup. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Prescott, and Cooks has it over the middle. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, 
You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, it's Pollard. Bulldozes past him. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Here now, third and a yard. Here's Pollard again. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here's second and one now from the seven. Here's Prescott. And it's caught. That'll put him at an even 50 receiving yards now in this first half. And it's a first down. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Now here's Pollard. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Cowboys continue to pull away here this first half. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the route is on here in this first half. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Things, unfortunately, continuing to implode here. The interception he threw on the previous drive, of course, led to the touchdown. And that deficit widening a little bit further. First and 10. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He'll get this one to cop complete. So no gain on the play, and that will bring up second down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yards. yardage. Okay. From the gun, here's Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 
Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait into the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Now a second and ten. Back to throw, Stafford. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing again at Stafford. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit, and they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. Williams diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. Well, there you see it. A hat trick of touchdowns, <laughs> and we're in the first half. I'm betting that he was over there saying, feed me. Yeah, there's no doubt. I got to eat. There is no doubt, and he's real hungry right now, <laughs> isn't he? I mean, let's be honest about the whole thing. We don't have to be on the field to understand what he's telling everyone. Give me the ball. We're locked in with the offensive line. They're taking care of business, and I'm finishing things off. Well, heck, he might be able to turn this into an historic event. We'll see. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Play action now, Prescott. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Throwing. Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation. 
and send him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. On play action, Prescott. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Over the middle complete, it's Lamb. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. This offense so far on third down can't be any better than a perfect six for six. This will be third and six. Prescott now. Swinging this out for Pollard. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 35. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. 70 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. This second and four. Here's Prescott. And he is caught by Lamb. And they move this all the way down to the nine. He's got the first down. He's got a big game going right now. Already over 100 yards receiving in this first half alone. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. This will be caught at about the six. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. They'll try to run with Pollard. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Cowboys have taken a five-touchdown lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Aubrey good with a PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. 
Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try to loosen things up, get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Pushes him over. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. Well, partners, my old man used to say, make sure you strap up tight if you're going to try and stop one of those big horses out there. As you just saw there, this guy does not go down easily. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. They run it again with Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down at seven. Stafford. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. But this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. Here's Stafford. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Ethan Evans on now to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Cooks on the quick slant. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as he'll get this up to the 39. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Meanwhile, Dak's throw there caught by Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Prescott on first down. That's dumped off to Pollard. Takes this to the 45. Not much space after that broken tackle. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. 
Prescott now on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Aubrey now for the PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's capped off with a Cowboys touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now the Rams about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Here's Stafford. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action, Stafford. That'll be caught. It's Cup. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal. Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Oh. 
Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He's found the end zone four times on the ground already as he's putting together the kind of performance you dream about as a running back. 